Nestled in historic downtown Apex, there's a place where you can experience the wonders of craft beer. Enjoy a wide selection of beers from North Carolina, the U.S., and around the world. And it's only at the Beer Dispensary. Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're the NC Beer Guys. We promote NC Craft Beer online at ncbeerguys.com. We do these videos to give you some idea of the great beers that are available statewide. And today, we're jumping back and doing one that we just really can't believe we've never done before. It is renowned statewide from one of the major breweries, but we've never actually sat down and drank with you the Jade IPA out of Foothills. Mm -hmm. So we're fixing that today. That's right. Uh, of course, the Jade IPA comes out of Foothills, as I said, and located in Winston-Salem. The Foothills folks say they believe the quote, Drinking truly fresh beer is one of the greater pleasures of life. Uh, their downtown brew pub is at 638 West 4th Street in Winston-Salem and is open 11 to 2 every day. Their main brewing facility and their tasting room, which is relatively new, is at 3800 Kimwell Drive in Winston-Salem. Foothills beer is available in draft and bottles at great locations throughout North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and Eastern Tennessee, and next year in Georgia. Yep. And it's in most of the bottle shops. It's pretty easy to find in North Carolina, and I suspect in other places too. It's not oh, yeah. abstract. It's, it's just it's widely everywhere. Good. Well, everywhere in a little geography. Yeah. You know, yeah. More than some. So, Foothills describes the Jade IPA as Jade, which is the exotic jewel of the Orient, now a gem of an IPA. Bold, citrusy, Pacific Jade hops lend striking tropical fruit notes and a hint of peppery finish to this easy drinking. IPA. Dry hop additions of Chinook and Citra add heady aroma and bold flavor. A special beer to charm the hop lover in you. Go ahead, they say. Get jaded. And it's got an ABV of 7.4. With perfect pours. A beautiful beer, too. That's right. That's nice, substantial heads. And talking about an IPA, in a, in a IBUs are 86. Ooh, it's nice enough. So it's significant in the IBU category, and we'll argue with no one about how high you can taste and not taste. Everybody seems to think they know something different. Yeah, it's Every all... time you talk to somebody, they say, oh, you can't taste over 100, or you can't taste over Maybe 70, high, or 60. I mean, who knows anymore? Yeah. Because they're putting plenty of beers out that are more than this, but this used to be in the high range. It still is in the high range. Oh, it's, yeah, it's way out there. But not for some of these IPAs that you get your hands on. So so it's named after the hop. Right, J hops. Pacific wow, J. That's so unusual. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. And as we said earlier in my intro, this is one of the standard flagships Foothills has had this out as long as I've known about Foothills. It's, it's limited release. It's not it's not their flagship. It's a limited release. So it's not it's not year round. It's when they have it when they have it out, they have it out. I kind of checked on that. I did too. They didn't say it was a seasonal. Yeah, no, it's not seasonal. It's when they have it out, it's out, and then it's gone, and then they have it out again. Oh, okay. So it's just because uh, I, I was like, I had to question about it. And I went to the website, and they have their flagships, and they have the seasonals, and they have limited release. And so I asked but, so this Chris is like uh, about that, and it's a limited release. Okay. So it basically, it's they they... They produce it, but they don't produce vast amounts of it. Like the sexual chocolate, then. It comes out once a year. And Whenever it's out. It's out, it's out, until it's gone, it's gone. And then when they make it again, they make it again. Gotcha. All right, so let's see what we think. Yep, I love the aroma. Tropical citrusy. And nice hops. And nice hops. Mm. And that is the prominent aroma. So that's, yeah. Right, the uh, hops. I was just like, with IPAs, you just want to <laughs> sit here and smell it. Well, particularly for some of us who are not big hop heads, it actually smells better than it tastes. Mm. Sometimes. Some we'll see what this one does. Yep. yep. Oh, it does have a hop bite. It does. A little, just bitterness on the back end. But it is. it also has the citrusy behind oh, it. It's not just yes. all hops in no. your face. No, 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 no. It's very prominent hops. No, no, yes. no way around that. Mm -hmm. yep. um, but, but there's more to this IPA than just that strong hop presence, I think. 
Mm. It's more love. appealing to me than I thought it would be at the 86. Okay. I thought for me it would be okay. like, it just way too much. Melt your mouth. Or just <laughs> not be pleasant for right. me. Right. This is True. fine. This is good. This is very tolerable even for me as a non-IPA drinker. Yeah. But who's, who's learned to drink it? Well, I was going to say, you, right. you've, if you had this three years ago, mm. you probably not have had this three yeah. years ago. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I'd had two sips and thought, oh yeah. my God, I can't drink this. Why does anybody drink this? Mm -hmm. you know? And that is that shows our palates have evolved, of course, oh, as, as as your palate does right. as when you, you drink these things and as you explore different things. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't tell you this. I'll tell you this. I'll tell a story on camera. Yesterday, I met a lady. I was at a festival. If I were kind of a small festival, there was like five, six, eight beer offerings total. It was a lot of other things going on, and um, so she came up. I was standing there talking to the brewer, and her husband or man that was with her got a beer and I said, you're not gonna have a beer? She said, I don't like beer. Oh. I, I, and you know, she said yeah. the wrong person. Yeah, right. said, so what <laughs> don't you like about it? Or, or uh, he said, I think he jumped in then and said, well, she really uh, just doesn't drink beer. I said, and then she said, they were kind of back and forth. Well, I do drink beer. I drank a lot of Budweiser. Okay, once again, she didn't drink beer. And that was my response. I said, well, you know, I said, if your experience is, as we've said before, if your experience is the big national brands, the big commercial, you don't know craft beer. Right. And that makes all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. And so she did try one. She wasn't too excited about it, but yet she said and did admit, well, this is very flavorful. And this might be something I need to learn again. Right. So as we were just saying, palates evolve. Yep. And particularly if you don't think you even know beer or like beer, Give it a shot. You don't mm -hmm. know what you're going to experience. That's right. So, yep. so Foothills, of course, it, we knew this was going to be a great beer because it's so well received and so popular that we couldn't be that far off the balance. So everybody likes the Jade IPA yep. from Foothills. So this is David Lindy, NC Beer Guys, reminding you until next time, drink local Boom. and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.